the third type of process based on variety and volume, volume is batch process. So processes that produce products of medium variety and medium volume are termed batch. Products move to resources that are shared between batches. So generally here, uh, the resources are shared between different batches. A feature of batch processes is that because it is difficult to predict when a batch of work will arrive at a machine, a lack of coordination can lead to many products waiting for that machine at any one time. So that might be actually a, an issue in jobbing as well. So this is a common issue in both jobbing as well as batch processes. But especially in batch, we have larger quantities, so queue or waiting can be a problem because the resources are shared between different uh, uh, product categories. Examples of batch processes are bakeries, machine shop, furniture making. And perhaps the batch process is the most commonly used type of process in manufacturing. So medium variety and medium volume is uh, produced in, in a batch process. So classical example of a batch process is a bakery. So we have uh, similar equipment or processes. So for example, we have three steps. Let's suppose we, we, we make a recipe or we mix ingredients. That might be uh, one step just to to clarify the concept, then the second step might be baking and the third step might be, for example, packing. So if you're making ingredients for one uh, type of cookie or bread, and then you won't be doing it for the other type. So after making ingredients or mixing process, then you will be baking them together. Uh, sorry, you, you will be, after mixing, you will be baking that uh, recipe. And after baking, you will be packing. So then for the next recipe, you will be mixing new ingredients. So before that, you may have to clean, uh, clean up the space and you will need some time to switch to the new recipe and mixing it. Then you will use the same equipment, for example, same oven for baking and same resources for packing. So, uh, the quantity of one type of product being made is called generally a batch or it is also called lot, right? So once you are making one type of product, you are not making the other and switching between two types of product on the same equipment requires some, some time that is called change over time or it is also called uh, setup time change over time or setup time. So reducing this change over or setup time is very important in batch processes. Another example is furniture making. So again, you need some specific equipment like a routing machine or a, some, some painting or polishing mechanism and uh, some manual operations uh, of assembly but you can make different types of furniture using these as uh, a few types of resources or equipment or machines. A technical example could be injection molding process. So this is used to make plastic parts. I hope people with materials and mechanical background are very well aware of this, uh, this machine, injection molding machine. So, Step one could be to, to produce mold one, uh, to, sorry, to mount mold one on this machine and to produce desired number of items. The second step would be to remove the mold type one and install the mold two, and then make a certain quantity of the second type of products. And you can uh, uh, repeat this cycle. So, <clears throat> Uh, removing the mold and installing the new one requires some time. So that is change over time. And the quantity of certain number of parts produced is, is a batch or lot. So that is a brief discussion on batch process. If you have any questions, you can.